The next thing to do here is to create this contact us today link and also the form uh, to register for the newsletter. So we'll go ahead and do that. So again, we'll start by creating a table to contain uh, those sections. Next, create a table row. And inside this table row, create a table column. Uh, this column, give it a height of 72 pixels, alignment of center, and vertical alignment of top. And this is what's going to hold the Contact Us Today uh, button. Inside this column, create a table. So this table contains the orange background color that you see here. So this here is the hex code for that color. And we've also set a width of 313 pixels, cell spacing and padding of three. I create a table row. And now create the column that holds the contact us today text. And we've given this column a width of 301 pixels, center alignment, a no wrap attribute, font, color white, size 5, and font face. We've also attached a link. Now the link is just the number sign because we don't want it to actually go anywhere. And so make sure you do attach the link using the A element in the href attribute surrounding the contact us today text. I'll refresh the page so we can see that the button is now there and the link is active. Now we'll need to create another table row inside this table. Now create a table column. Give this column a height of 72 pixels as well, alignment of center and vertical alignment of top. Inside this column, we're going to have our heading for the form element. Register for our newsletter. And underneath the heading, we're going to have the actual form. So we've given the form uh, the name contact. Uh, method post action send.php. This will not work until we actually create the send.php file. And again, we're going to be covering that in the PHP section of this course if you are taking this as part of the Web Development Masterclass. We've created an input, uh, a text input, and we've named it email. And we've created a submit button as well. And that's it. So if we press refresh, we now have our text heading and the form element with the button.